Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. Reverts here, and today I'm going to give you guys my opinion about the new Invasion DLC that did come out today on the Xbox 360. I'm going to give you guys a little overview of the maps, and I'm going to give you guys my opinion if you should buy it or not. And so, yeah, let's go ahead and get started. So, the Invasion DLC is amazing, guys. Uh, uh, out of 10 stars, they probably rated an 8. Uh, it's not the best that we've had before from DLCs and other Call of Duty games, but it is actually really good. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started on the Favela map because it is my favorite. Favela is so much fun, guys. It is, it's exactly like the Modern Warfare 2 Favela like we've seen in the past. It's just different reskin. It has different colors like we did kind of see in Modern Warfare 3 when they made Terminal a map. They did kind of add different colors and other different uh, items into, into the map and things like that. It just like that, but uh, it still has the same feel to it. The, the same domination flags are on the map, and um, and yeah, I think the spawns are. I'm not sure about the spawns. They might be the same, or they might. Infinity Ward might have added some different spawns to it. I'm not really sure about that. But other than that, it's just a really, really solid map to play on. I think Favela is now my favorite map in the Call of Duty Ghost uh, maps that they've ever created. I just wish that Favela was in a normal rotation. That's what really sucks a lot of uh, about the new DLC maps is that they're not in the rotation because I guess Infinity War doesn't want to have people who don't have the maps and not be able to play on them or something like that. It just that that sucks because Favela is so much fun. But uh, but yeah, let me know what y'all think about Favela. Now about the other three maps that we do have, the other three maps they're all right. Like I said, they're not the best that we've seen before in, in, of the other Call of Duty Ghost DLCs or any of the other Call of Duty DLCs that we have received in the past. They're not the best, but they're also not the worst. They're really fun to play on. And yeah, what I like about the new DLC maps is that they're medium to small range size maps, and that's really really awesome. We just I'm tired of having all these big ass maps like we did have in Call of Duty Ghost. I, I really hate the big maps because it takes forever to find someone and kill and especially the kill streaks are just so shitty in, in the game and it's really hard to get on a high scoring uh, kill uh, just get high scoring gameplay and stuff like that so I do like the medium stuff small range size maps they're really fun to play on and yeah let me know what you think about that also guys I don't know if I'm gonna be uploading tomorrow or the next day but I am gonna have a map guide of all the DLC maps that did come out today I'm gonna show you guys some head glitch spots and maybe some nade spots that I can find anything like that just some some tips and tricks some call outs and anything like that I'm gonna be uploading that to my channel I don't know if I'm gonna be doing it the tomorrow or the next day I just gotta have a lot of time to get the videos ready but be but I will have all of that stuff ready on all the DLC maps and so yeah um, what I would really like to see from Favela is that that would be really awesome if they put that in the esports map rotations. That would be so much, so cool to watch. Just, just taking a look back from Modern Warfare 2 and, and those game battles days, and this Favela playing domination or capture the flag was a lot of fun to watch and to play on. So that'd be pretty cool if they add that into the esports rotation maps. But I don't think that'd be. Uh, they, they would do that because they want to have the Call of Duty Ghost maps that were already in the game into the rotation. Uh, what probably would what probably would increase the rating of the DLC, it, what would probably increase the rating for me, is that if they would added a gun into the DLC. I don't know why they didn't add a gun. Maybe they're going to be adding a gun pack. I did hear on Charlie Intel, they did tweet about that Infinity Ward is looking to add a gun pack into the next DLC. And I'm kind of interested to find uh, find out about that. I'll, I'll probably make a video uh, if I get more information about that. But I did hear that they are going to be coming out with the gun pack probably next month or, the, or uh, two months after I'm making this. So we'll just have to wait and see. But in total, the whole DLC invasion, it's really fun to play on. I haven't played Extinction yet. I'm not that big of a fan of Extinction. But I will play it with some friends if, uh, if I'm kind of bored. I just mainly play multiplayer a lot. I haven't played Extinction, like I said, but from what I've uh, been seeing gameplay on, it does look really fun, and I'll have to try that out. And so, yeah, again, guys, I'd rate it about an 8 out of 10 stars. If you're a hardcore Call of Duty fan, then I'd probably recommend you all getting this. If you just play from time to time, then I wouldn't recommend you all getting this and go spending the money. So, yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, please leave a like if you did, and comment down below your opinions on the new D Invasion DLC. And make sure to subscribe, guys, and I'll see you all later. Peace!